Welcome to Gazraf Tutorials. I'm Gazraf, and today we're going to look at moving objects. So let's go into our build menu, and we're going to grab a let's grab a square. Okay, so now let's just place this guy here, and we're going to adjust position. So we're all set. It's rotation to zero. It's a square. It's the same in all directions, and our position. Let's adjust the y to. 0.25. Alright, and how, how can we move this guy? Well, there are a couple ways that we can do this, but we're going to need a script. So we're going to grab a script gizmo and a trigger gizmo, which we're going to make a little bigger. So now it should be sticking out just a little bit on all sides. Okay, so there's a couple ways that we can do this. I have a trigger, so what I'm going to do is when trigger is entered by player, I want it to move. So we're going to go over to motion, and we have move to, we have move by, we have move to over time, move by over time. And then we have physical motion, which will allow us to push the object. First, we are going to do the move self to. So basically what this will do is it will move whatever object this script is attached to, to this location in the world. This script is going to be attached to our trigger. So we will need a reference to the cube. We're going to grab a new variable. It's going to be an object variable. And we're going to call it cube. Turn and confirm. Now we got to open up this again. And we need to drag our cube object pill over to our new variable. There it is. You see that we have our little line that connects this panel to this panel. And now we can take our variable in our script and replace self and this is going to move it over there so if I were to jump in here uh, don't worry about my hand it's not serious if I walk into this now it's all the way over there we're gonna change it from move to to move by So we're gonna move by move cube by one on the X. So now when I enter, it will move in the X direction one. There it is. And we can tell which direction X is by looking at our vector. So, so here's X. So it says X positive, X negative. So that move by is more of a moving in a local space because we're basically just adding this vector to the cube's position vector. And we're going to change it instead of instant, we, I want to do it over time. So we're going to take this move to over time to bring our cube in there. And now it's going to move our cube to 1 on the x and 0 on the y and z over 1 second. Now this might actually be really fast because that's a, a long distance for 1 second. Now if I step in here, you'll see it move over there. And it took 1 second to do that. Now if I want it to go slower, I can say we'll do it over 10 seconds. If I go in here, and now it'll move slower and it'll take 10 seconds to reach its destination. Now the next one is going to be move by over time. Just bring our cube down and we're going to move by one on the X over one second. Remember X is facing that direction for this object. So now it'll move over one over one second. Now I can change it to say I want it to move 5 over 5 seconds. Now it'll go over 5 from its location. There it is. Now it's going to move over 5 on the X. And it took 5 seconds to do that. 
Now these physical motions, the cube has to be set to physics. You can have it set to whatever you want. It might affect how fast things are moving because we are moving with physics. So like if I want to push, I can push the cube. I, I'm going to push the cube by one. So let's go over here and and now it's going to get pushed. See, it, but now if I adjust its physics to say, let's grab ice. Now when I push it, it pushed it by one and since it's ice, it's its friction is a lot lower so it, it there wasn't a lot of resistance being created trying to move that because it's technically ice. So if I wanted to rotate that it'll still try to go in that direction even though its X is this direction instead of this direction. Now if I wanted to push in local space now now it'll, it'll move that direction because it's local to the object. Now there is a couple other ways that we can move an object. So say I wanted to animate, I can go over to, let me reset this, animated, and I could record an animation Stop. So when we enter, I want it to play that animation, and it's going to be the animation I just recorded on the cube. So now when I jump in here and I touch this, it will play that animation. And then there's different ways. You can loop it. You can, you can do a back and forth, which will go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Another way we can move an object we need to set it back to physics, go into our settings, our player settings, and we need to make sure can hands collide with physical objects? Yes. So I don't actually need that anymore. We can get bye bye. And we're, we're just going to make this a little bit bigger so I can actually touch it. So let's go in here and it's physical and my hand, I'm going to try to move it. So I can move it with my hand because it is a physical object. Or say if I wanted it to move a lot easier, I can change it to something like ice, which will now be like an ice cube on the floor. And it'll just, that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future videos, some, any comments or concerns about what I covered today, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Have a good one.